Hello everyone, my name is Kaushik. I am part of the data trade education. Uh, so uh, what we're going today is having an alumni meet with uh, one of our alumni, uh, his name is Gomik Shah. And before that, I definitely like to you know, uh, wish you all a very, uh, you know, happy Diwali, in, uh, happy Holi in advance, I must say. Okay, uh, so uh, over to you, Gomik. Uh, and uh, my question, first of all, to you is, just first of all, just give us about your background, our viewers want to know who are you, what you have done in the past and all. So what do you want me? Yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, so I am Bhumik. Uh, you, I am having total, you can say, nine years of 9.5 years of experience. I specifically come from a electricity domain. That is, I have completed my bachelor's in engineering, in electrical engineering in 2011. After then, I have pursued an internship with Torrent Power Limited for a period of, you can say, eight to nine months. After that, I have secured an admission in NPTI Nagpur. That is basically its National Power Training Institute, which comes under Ministry of Power, where there I have done a one year of post-graduation diploma in power sector. And that was of uh, nine to 10 months. After completion of that in 2013, uh, I had secured a placement in an organization called ILNFS Energy. So over there, I worked as a consultant with the uh, state electricity boards. That is, I was working with Bihar State Electricity Board. So over there, I worked there for, you can say, for a span of around one year. After that, I moved to SL Utilities. Uh, that is to a uh, distribution franchisee, which was appointed by state government of Bihar. So over there, I worked there for around uh, eight to nine months. After, after that, I moved to Torrent Power, uh, where I worked there for around uh, uh, five to six years. And right now, from last uh, from last one year, I am working with uh, Siemens Limited, uh, basically as a data scientist as well as the domain expert. So my domain expertise is uh, mostly in power sector, that too in the transmission and distribution system. Okay. So uh, if uh, how was the you know uh, I think like to ask uh, how was the uh, interview process? Uh, as a data scientist and uh, then what was your experience about it? Yeah, so interview process was basically I have applied in two to three companies from where mm -hmm. I have got a call. So first one, I got a call from EXL and uh, that interview round was kind of a basic kind of a thing a basic concepts were asked related to machine learning and data science so mm -hmm. i cra i cracked that round and uh, second and the second round was related to an assignment uh, i also cracked that second round that was related to an assignment and uh, there was a last round which was pending that was an hr round so basically you can say because of those salary negotiations and all it was not fitting in in my profile so i opted out of that the second okay. the second one that was interviewed was by tata uh, uh tata yeah, elxc so over there also the same concepts the same process was uh same process was followed firstly there would be a personal round where they just ask the candidates about what are the concepts uh related concepts questions like what is the standard scalar what are the performs the standard scalar do's uh when we should apply label encoding when one should apply ordinal encodings so that was just the basic concepts. Second round was uh, related to an related to an assignment, and last round was uh, related to an HR. So over there also, I cracked two rounds, and in last round, I got stuck because of that location and that salary thing. And third, I was interviewed by Siemens, and the same process was same process was followed, and uh, uh, the, and luckily I got. Uh, I got a good hike as well as you can say the location which I wanted. So that's why I opted for Siemens. So basically in interview, like for first round, it is kind of a basic things only. You need to know the basics before they move to the next stage that is an assignment stage. Mm -hmm. So that was the overall journey of, of the interview rounds which I have faced till date. Okay, so uh, these, before Siemens, you attended two more interviews yeah 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 and any any uh, uh, other interviews that you have given within your uh, were there anything like you will be selected by your own company means uh, same as you all uh, you were already working there and mm -hmm. you, there was a call, there was an opening and you applied for it and you got it so was there uh, 
No, these are the only these are the only three companies which I have applied. So okay, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, so do do you remember any of the questions that were asked in the interview? If you can share with our viewers. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I will share some questions. Like uh, I have as as I have said, like uh, they just wanted to know the concepts. Say suppose if I am applying a machine learning algorithm, so mm -hmm. under which case I would go for regression? So there are two types of thing in machine learning. One is uh, one is uh, regression and one is classification. So under regression, which are the machine learning models which are there, and under classification, which are the models which are the machine learning models which are classified as a uh, which are there under the classification thing. So just they wanted to know the name of names of the models. Uh, if for regression as well as as far for classification so that so that is the so that is the basic question they asked me for uh, the three companies which i was interviewed and they wanted to know the concepts behind that say suppose if i am saying that i am applying the linear regression then why i am applying linear regression why i am not applying decision tree they need to know the uh, entire mathematics behind that Say suppose if I'm applying the decision tree, then how there will be a split in the branches? How are the sub sub trees created? How are the nodes and all these things created? So, just wanted uh, they just wanted to know the they just do not wanted to know what are the formulas and all, but wanted to know the basic mathematical concepts that goes behind that. So uh, these are the they, these are some questions. Secondly, they would ask for say if there are some categorical variables in your uh, in your independent data, then how we Will you treat those categorical variables like which uh, encoding techniques you will apply so there are various encoding techniques like label encoding ordinal encoding uh, so under what condition and under what criteria uh, one would apply those techniques so this uh, so this this is the second question third question they mostly ask is if there are if there are null values or nan values in your data set so how will you treat those how will you treat the data set which techniques like uh, one would apply like treating it with mean treating it with median or treating with it with mode so these are some basic questions which i have faced uh, when i was interviewed when i was interviewed Okay. Okay, great. Uh, so we have already. Uh, so, uh, what do you think? Uh, you know, uh, Mick, uh, what do you think that the interviewer is looking for? You know, from the candidate during the interview, what can? Yeah, the interviewer mostly is looking for. Say, suppose if the phase goes uh, that that is if a candidate goes in a second phase, that is the mm -hmm. assignment phase. So when it goes to that phase, so. Basically, they will just go and see the approach. Results will not matter. That is how much accuracy or how much R2 score or how much accuracy metrics uh, ac uh, accuracy is one is getting. The basic mm -hmm. they check is the concepts. That is steps taken to reach to the machine learning algorithm. That is first when our data set is given, there would be a data pre-processing, data cleaning. So which techniques and which methods are needed to be applied on that data set. So that has only been seen by the interviewer, nothing else. So the accuracy and that score is a secondary thing. So basically one needs to only know how to approach that problem before applying that to the any of the machine learning algorithms. That is that's insightful. And thank you so yeah. much uh, for that. Uh, so uh, behind this, uh, so what was your you know learning strategy? Means how come if you you prepared yourself for those interviews? Your your you know how do you yeah. schedule your day to study and all and with your job? How did you manage this? What's your learning strategy? Yeah, so my learning strategy was so whatever was taught in the data train. So you can say that was the that that the learning which I got from the data train was all related to all the basics concepts, all the basic concepts were brushed properly along with theoretical as well as the practical implementation of that but that mm -hmm. is not enough if one needs to give the interview you have to explore other things like you need to go through some uh, youtube videos you need to you you need to get, uh, keep yourself updated because this ai and ml lot of things keeps on changing on a daily basis so yeah. you need to go through all the all the articles related to ai ml so the for ai and ml mostly i have gone through medium so medium is basically a good tool uh, if you want to go through ai and ml articles they have all the updated things in them mm -hmm. and secondly i have gone through a lot of uh, youtube videos uh, where i have 
worked on various practical data sets. So in data train, one thing was that uh, we were given a lot of problem statements. So uh, that was divided into two things. One was for practice and one was for test purpose. So in practice also we got 10 data, 10 data sets. And in tests also we got around 10 data sets. So there were around 20 data sets which I worked on. Uh, and after that, I worked on another 10 to 15 data sets by myself. So that will give you a good grip on how to handle the data sets, what needs to be done, and how can you approach that uh, solution part when it comes to solving that problem. Absolutely, absolutely hard work. It, it really you know reflects hard work that we have done. Yeah. Uh, for your interviews and all. So. Uh, my next question definitely will be: What do you think? What are the mistakes your know, students are uh, should avoid while while during their learning phase or while giving them? What yeah. sort of yeah, some of the mistakes I can share, like which I was making, like so mm -hmm. I was mostly focused on the solution part. That how can I uh, say suppose if I'm given a data set, then how quickly I can apply that machine learning? So I was not thinking about all the previous steps which needs to be taken before applying it to the machine learning. That is data mm -hmm. pre-processing, data cleaning. So I was not do it, doing that thing. So that was the one of the biggest mistakes which I was making. And secondly, uh, I, I was not working on the concepts. I was mostly focused on the solution part. But that okay. concept thing is very important because once you know the concepts, you can you will just you will know when to apply what. So these are the two to three things which one needs to focus while if you are applying for any interviews. Very well said, very well said, Bhomik. Thanks for sharing the experience for that. Uh, so uh, any advices that uh, you like to give to our students who are planning to get into uh, this space, especially, uh, I know you are from the tech background, but yeah, so, for the yeah. tech and non-tech background. People. Yeah, yeah. The advice which I like to say is that data science anybody can do. It's not kind of a rocket science kind of a thing. That is, say, suppose mm -hmm. only technical people can do. Uh, Non-technical people can also do because all the things and all the concepts which I have learned in data train. So I was not kind of a programmer kind of a person. Okay. I I have never learned various languages like C, C++, Java, Python. So mm -hmm. I learned it from scratch from the data train. So anybody can learn. If I can learn, then anybody can learn. And it's and all the things which were taught in data train was uh, like from basics, like how to write a script in Python and, uh, and slowly and steadily they progress it to machine learning. But all the things were taught from the scratch. So it's from my experience, I can say that anybody can learn, even a non-tech guy, even a person from arts background can learn the data science. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time, Romic. It was really insightful of giving you all those details and all. It was really nice talking to you. And uh, and thank you so much for your time. I guess uh, you have taken now time out of your busy schedule and all. And yeah. thank you so much. We'll uh, connect again. Thank you for your time, Omic. Yeah. Thank. Thanks to all viewers. Keep learning. Thank you. Keep growing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.